Hey guys, it's Miss Russell. I am here to help you with day 30, the end of another packet. That means only three more weeks of school. And I know you've already gotten the link for the new packet, days 31 through 45. It's okay. It's on the school's website if you need it. Okay, so just like always, we're going to look at the questions first. Question one says, what factor is plotted? And plotted means that you're going to look for the information that is told to you, is marked, is shown, what information, what factor is plotted, shown, or marked on the horizontal axis. And the horizontal, think about the horizon that you can see when you look out the window. The horizon, as you um, see where the land meets the sky, that's a straight line that goes left to right. So what axis is that going to be? The independent variable is plotted on that axis. Number two, what factor is plotted, shown, or marked on the vertical axis? So if you think about the V in the word vertical, it's two straight lines, and those lines go up and down. So that helps you to remember that vertical is the axis that goes up and down. And what do we call that one? What information do we put on that one? Number three, <clears throat> which axis is the independent variable plotted on? I think I might have already said that a few minutes ago, if you were listening. If not, rewind. Number four, of the years shown on the graph, in which year was the percentage of farm workers highest? So look at the graph. Across the bottom, from left to right, it tells you the year. And if we look, you see a pattern, 1860, 1880, 1900, 1920. It looks to me 20 years uh, in between each marking. And then on the axis that's up and down here, it's percentage of total workforce. So pay attention to the word uh, percentage because that might make a difference in your answers in one of the questions later on. Number four, well, I think we just did that. Number five, by how much did the percentage of farm workers change between 1860 and 2000? So remember here, it's talking about percentage. So make sure that your units of, of measure are the same between the question and what the graph is showing you. Question number six, what trend or pattern does the graph show? And base your answer on what you know about technical technological advances. So as we've gotten smarter with all of our gadgets and our technology, how has that helped us work? Do we work harder? Do we work smarter? So think about that when you're answering this question. So now let's go up really quick and read the, the passage. It says technological advances make many jobs easier to perform. They also increase the amount of work that people can accomplish. Accomplish means to get done. For example, farmers can plow, and to plow means to break up the, the soil to get ready to plant. Farmers can plow or break up the land for planting. More land, they can plow more land in less time by using a tractor rather than a horse drawn plow. However, in some cases, the advance of technology can cause people to lose their jobs. If farmers cannot afford expensive equipment, such as tractors and irrigation systems, their farms may not be as productive as farms that can afford the equipment. Irrigation means um, that you're going to run water. So what if you don't get enough rain? So now you've got pipes or tubes that are running that water out there for you from a, a well that you pump or a, a hose in your garden at home. Eventually, less productive farms may go out of business and the farmers may lose their jobs. So I put in a picture so you can see what a plow looks like. So the thing that the farmer's sitting on, there's a blade that's kind of hard to see in that picture. It's sort of a, a, a crescent moon shaped and it goes down into the dirt. So he's the farmer is using a plow to plow the field. So here's the graph. We've already talked about it. The farm workers in the U.S. This is the graph you're going to use to answer all these questions. Um, I think after we've gone over them, they should be fairly simple. But if you have any questions, send me an email or Miss Nixon or Coach Yoakum. Um, have a fantastic weekend. Get out, enjoy the outside, and I'll talk to you later.